Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls Remastered, where we are in Saints Fortress of the Earth, clearing out Saints Fortress, aka saving as many people as we could, getting as many items as we could, if not all of them, and a whole bunch of other things. So what we gotta do though, unfortunately, is we do need to uh, just quickly equip some shit onto our quick bar. The five black firebombs I bought, because it's really, really good against the upcoming boss. And we're gonna be beat a boss, guys. I'm hoping for a first try against this boss, it should happen, but you know... This boss has a few finicky details about it, but you know, you could get a little bit screwed if you're not 100% um, lucky. Uh, not lucky. Lucky, it's definitely not luck. It's definitely skill based, but I just like to say luck because it makes me feel better about myself. If I mess up. Don't run like that. That was a stupid way to run. Run more safe, guys. Trust me. So we saved Logan in the last episode, which is really cool. And uh, we also got some more items from here. I did debate myself into dying over there, but that's okay. It just looked like there was a door. It didn't look like... I think I saw a door. Dude, I'm like in the middle of like explaining to the viewers about this so-called door that I saw that no one knows if it exists or not. And you really want to come talk to me? Are you serious? Oh, that, uh, that was a mistake. I might have accidentally wasted a thing. I swear I saw a door over here. Didn't you guys see a door over there? Or did I just really 100% debate myself? I probably just debated myself. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go fight the Iron Golem! First white light. Now the Iron Golem. Looks way cooler in the remastered version, holy shit! It looks really cool! Now what you wanna do is you just wanna get right over here. You wanna debate him. You wanna get back. You wanna debate him some more. I kinda missed the debate. It's okay. Debate him some more. Debate him one more time. I might be messing up. Oh, I got grabbed! No, don't get grabbed! You might throw me off the ledge! It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. This is all calculated. I mean, I might actually have to normally kill this guy now, because it seems like... I... I messed up. He grabbed me again?! But I was behind you! Okay, let's fight seriously now, guys. Uh, okay. At least he didn't kill me, okay? At least the Iron Golem did not kill me. I missed one attack, as you guys saw. And that one attack missed was the problem. It's okay, though. It's not a problem, guys. It's not a problem. I was still in the middle of exp explaining before I got grabbed. Okay, so the Iron Golem, as I was trying to say, is actually, like, one of the easiest enemies. You gotta hit him, like, three times in the foot, and he'll fall off the ledge and die. But I don't know if they fixed that in the remaster, because I hit him for definitely enough damage to make him want to fall, but he didn't fall, so a little bit confused there, but it's okay. It's just one of those things. We're gonna go uh, just fight him again. No problem. So what I do, I want to hit him twice, and then I want to just throw him with fire, black fire bombs, and he should fall off the ledge. So that was the plan, and fortunately I messed up, so it didn't really work out. He did grab me twice, and he did not throw me off the ledge, so I guess... If I'm being like legit serious, I I had good RNG there against him actually. Because usually he would have just literally. I'm just gonna farm Titanite shots on this guy forever. Usually he would just throw you and you'd fly up the ledge. But instead of him throwing me that up the ledge, I just jumped off the ledge. Haha! What now, Mr. Iron Golem? What now? You didn't see that come, did you, motherfucker? That's one. Two. He's kind of in a bad position. Oh my word. Pop one of these. You come over here. Okay. Now we run towards him. Chipati is attack. And get him up. Chipati is attack. And get him up. Chipati is attack. Oh, he grabbed me again. No, he's going to throw me to the ledge. He might throw me to the ledge. Oh, nope, he just threw me down. It's good. Go, and then we roll right through his legs. Nope, I missed rolled. I mean, my timing was really, really off, you could tell. 
Hmm. I wonder why it's not falling to one knee. Like, the, the amount of HP he's losing is way more than enough for him to fall to one knee. He should be falling to one knee, but he's not. They might have, they might have fixed that because he's too easy. Uh, from the original Dark Souls that he won't fall to one knee so you can just knock him down in the remastered. I don't know. If they did, that would be very interesting because I'd actually have to legit fight him. I've legit fought him many times because I started handicapping myself. But I wasn't allowed to cheese bosses anymore when I played this game. But since this is my first playthrough, I thought I would cheese the bosses. Kind of funny, dying to the Iron Golem twice really. That's a very funny because you should not ever die to the Iron Golem at all. Dying to him twice is completely unacceptable. That's okay. The adventures of Sackboy continue. I believe. Do you guys believe? I believe. Sackboy! The adventures of Sackboy. He believes. So I've died to the Iron Golem twice, which is beyond embarrassing. But it was all calculated to farm this guy for some more Titanite shots. See? Told you. Every time. Okay, attempt number three. Let's go. Pop one of these on, look like this. He's like, oh, I'm the Iron Golem. I can use my get to get 10 shells for some reason. Over here, pick up this, and turn around. Bait him. Wait a second. Bait him again. Wait a second again. Bait him again. Wait a second again. Bait him a third time. They might have made him not cheesable. Now that I think about it. Because at this point he would have fallen over. So he, they might have made him not debatable anymore. So you might actually have to legit kill him, which is weird because I've never done it. So. But I guess it's the first time for everything. You're supposed to fall off the ledge, dude. You're making me look like a retard. I can't explain to my viewers how to play the game because you're not doing what you're supposed to do and fall off the freaking ledge, dude. Anyway, so that made me look stupid. What happens is, you hit him like in the leg like twice. He then falls to one knee and then you firebomb him in the leg like three times and he falls off this ledge over here and dies. And it's way cooler than actually killing him normally. Because who wants to kill a boss normally when you can kill a boss with super cool fancy cheese? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. To Anor Londo. Now, let me make something very, very clear. Anor Londo is very, very scary. Okay? When you go to Anor Londo, Understand that this place is very scary. Also understand that it's got the hardest, coolest boss in the game. I remember back when... Is, do they have... I thought for a second that they had Quelag Sword, but they didn't. They just have uh, their little Gargoyle Spears. You can actually get that Gargoyle Spear as a weapon, by the way, guys. I know Londo! Oh. Very pretty. Dude, this game is so good. Holy shit. How is this game so good? Dark Souls might actually be like the best game ever made. It's my favorite game ever made. Original Dark Souls. Remastered? I don't know, dude. Maybe I'm not gonna like it re with, uh, the remastered version. So far, I don't. So far, it kinda sucks. Because so far... Why am I limping? Does it look like my guy's limping? Or is that just me? Do you guys think my... What is this? Do you guys think like, does it look like my guy is limping? It kind of, it kind of really does. Okay, so this is our first sentinel. Hello, Mr. Sentinel. These guys are very strong, be careful. Hello. I mean... You 100 didn't block my attack, excuse me. They are strong. They are very strong. Very strong. There's a two. I don't want to fight two. How about we just say no? But now, Mr. Sentinel, motherfuckers. I really want to kill them. I really want to kill them. Can I? Can I skill shot one of these? No. What about if I do like this? You don't care about the lava? Excuse me? The lava doesn't affect you either. I do not agree with that at all.
Oh, you actually landed. I'm very upset that that's actually landed. It's okay. No atoms? You guys don't drop any atoms? What are you doing, my friend? He just baited me! Okay, I don't understand. Like, my timing is really off in this game or something. Because I feel like... The reason these guys are strong is because you cannot backstab them. As soon as you cannot backstab something in Dark Souls, the game gets 10 times harder. That's what you get, dude. <gasps> Drop Adam. Get the fucking Adam. A giant's halberd. Oh my goodness. You know I gotta use a giant's halberd, dude. I can't. I don't have enough decks. I don't have enough decks. Looks pretty, it actually looks pretty cool. I might actually like a giant's hull, but I might actually use that in the future. Is you a mimic? No, you're not. I'm too good. Hello. Demon tattoo knight. Okay. So as you can see, Anna is very pretty. Very pretty. Yes, very nice. Lots of enemies that want to murder me for I'm not entirely sure what reason, but they do. I've done absolutely nothing to these people and they're like, yep, time to murder you. I don't really understand. Okay, I go to this bonfire here. Hello, bonfire! It's a very bright bonfire. Holy shit! One of my favorite characters in the entire game, right here. I love this armor set. Well, you are a rare visitor. This is Welcome a fire keeper, by the way. the city of Anorlando, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Lady, just because you happen to be my favorite person mm. in this game, what is it? Don't think what I won't I? kill you. Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. Where are if your not swords? For me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, so we're gonna level up a little bit here. Level up strength twice and then let's. What is faith? What is intelligence? Um, Dex 12, vitality. I want some more endurance actually, so 25 endurance. I think I should be fine. Beautiful. If we go over here, we can now equip this giant's halberd. Seems pretty cool so far. Pretty good, look pretty good. I can't one handed though, so we're well, never not the one hand version is, but we'll keep using the club for now, I guess. There's actually something I can use, but yeah. And on Londo, before I go to Anno Londo, I'm just gonna go this way and kill these people because I want to get the mimic chest here. So you can very, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys figured out how I play this game. I like to get. Like one, like a very high damage weapon, and then use it. I don't know why you don't take damage to the lava. I feel like you should still take damage to the lava, dude. I'm just gonna be honest with you right now. Ooh, did I hit his shield. Is that why? Did I hit his shield? Is that why? He took no damage? I feel like I must have hit his shield because the man took no damage. What is up with the timing here? My timing is like extremely off. off it's, a, it's off enough that I actually take damage, which is not what's supposed to happen. There we go, see? That's all that's supposed to happen. Oh my god, you actually hit me on the backswing on that attack? I don't agree with that guy. But okay, I guess. I guess there's nothing you can do about it. What's up, dude? I was live shooting it. You're not gonna get this. Face it. You, you got this. You got this. I apologize. You are the world's greatest enemy. And there's nothing I know about it. I'll just tank the damage if you're attacking him.
My roll timing definitely seems a bit off. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello. Twinkling Titanite. Okay, Krista Hubbard. Feels good. <clears throat> Hello, dude. What's up? So this is the way to Duke's archives. And we are not going yet, but I'm just killing these people because I saw. If I saw them, they will die. So we can't go to Duke's archives because we need to first kill. Uh, uh, what the fuck are they called? Um, smog and what the hell? Ornstein and Smog. Ornstein. We have to kill Ornstein and Smog first because it's like you see magical barrier. So it's a little bit annoying, but okay. So we can't go there until we kill uh, Ornstein and Smog, which is uh, quite a ways away because we have to get through the whole of Anolondo, which means we need to get past the Alpine freaking snipers, which, as you all know, is not an easy task. Not a easy task at all. But are we just going to be doing a little bit of Anolondo now from one bonfire to the next, basically? And that's about it. So from this bonfire to the next bonfire, and then we'll be Gucci. We do have a Golgo fight coming up now. So. It's very windy up here, guys. Holy shit. Down we go. Do 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 do. Thank you for the elevator ride. Now you can get off there fast if you want to. You can skip this entire run down these stairs, but I'm not trying to speed run, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I, I, I never remember if there's anything behind here or not. Doesn't seem to be the case, but okay. Time to fight a gargoyle. A gargoyle. A gargoyle. What's up, dude? You can't get his tail to one, guys. Did he just jump and dodge my attack? Okay, I missed him again. I missed him like six times. Finally got a hit in. I missed him again. He got a hit in. I got a hit in. He got a hit in. I hear someone making a lot of noise somewhere again. It's, it's, it's actually distracting me enough that I can't focus on the game. Am I dead? Am I actually dead because someone is making a noise outside again? Are you serious, game? That's a little bit frustrating. Like, are you building? Are you, are you running a workshop up there that's busy building shit? Because that's the only logical explanation, right? Okay, Mr. Gargoyle. You got me with your little shit. Congratulations. I missed him again. <laughs> He's actually so hard to hit this tail. I want this tail. Yeah. How did that not get the tail? Seriously? Wait. I will, I'm gonna get your tail, dude. That is the last thing I do. I'm not trying to get the tail is what's causing me to struggle with this fight. Because if I just attack him, he will die. Did that landed? I was pretty sure I was out of range. But whatever. Let's pop a heal. Because we saw how I got killed for more than 50% HP last time. Wait. I want your tail, dude. How did I not get the tail? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? I didn't get the tail there? I don't believe that for one second, dude. I want to see someone about that shit. Because I happen to know I definitely got the tail there, man. There's no way I didn't get the tail. I hit that tail twice for 300 damage each. That was a guaranteed tail, man. Guaranteed. Oh, well. No tail for us, I guess. We already have a, uh, we, we already have a tail, so it's not the end of the world. But I just really wanted another one, guys. I just really wanted another one. So as you see, the goggle's not strong at all. Not even he's not even difficult. It was just a situation of uh, he hit me for more than half HP in one hit, which I didn't expect, and then I died. There's another goggle fight, I think, that's coming up soon. 
So when I played the game originally, I did not know I could run up here, and I, s I actually got here and I didn't know what to do. I actually had to look on YouTube how to where to go to go into the game. Because why would you think you could run up here? Hello? Did you guys think you could run up here just playing the game for the first time? No, you wouldn't. You would not think that. You know? I don't I don't know who would think that. Honestly. You motherfucking painters. Sorry enough. I thought I was gonna get the painters uh blade already, which would have been cool because it's kind of a rare item. So as you can see, I happen to really like smooshing them. I kind of find it really fun to just smoosh them. Um, this next part's going to suck a little bit because we're going to be on these uh, railing things and you can fall off pretty easily to your death. And they attack you and throw you with knives while you're on it. So uh, this is one of those situations that just like before I mentioned, they definitely it comes with a lot of uh, confidence of knowing like where you can go, how you can go, where they are. What you can tank, what you can't tank, and stuff like that. So, once you know that though, you should be fine. Locking on here is very risky. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend you um, actually kill these guys without locking on at all. Because it's really risky. I'm going to play it safe instead of risky though, because I'm scared about this shit. There we go. As you see, I've gone for full poise. Uh, so, my poises make it a lot. You see, that's why you never lock on. You never lock onto these guys. I literally just told you not to lock on and then I locked on. Oh, I deserve that. I deserve that. I'm like, don't lock on. And then I lock on. <laughs> Once again, just being confident in my own skill and the capabilities to land that hit without having to lock on. So. The Gargo will not respawn, so don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry about that. But luckily, I've got enough poise to tank their little daggers. If you don't have poise, say you go on it like a dex build or... Maybe you don't have a lot of armor on because you're going for like fast movement speed and dodge rolling and stuff. Then you just got you got to be a little worried because they will um, use they will um, knock you. They can they can stagger you with the, uh, the throwing knives, which is of course very bad. So I try to farm up these guys' blades. It takes a while. It's a really rare drop. And it actually I had to farm here for quite a while. I didn't farm here because here's risky. I farmed it down there where it's way safer. And there's quite a few of them. But you can also skip these guys entirely. You do not even need to kill them if you don't want to. But I'm choosing today to kill them because why not? But yeah, it's just like, you know, it's a very small ledgy area. Ah, I'm dead. Fuck. I kind of... That was a really weird attack animation, I feel. Like, I feel the way my character moved there was a bit odd. Like, I kind of, like, turned 90 degrees and then took a step forward and attacked. I don't think you usually take a step forward when you... Oh, you actually you do. You do actually take a little jump forward. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Quite a few deaths in this list. Bit. Doo -doo -doo. Just gonna quickly just do this. I'm gonna kill these guys though for safety reasons. Luckily the hitbox is huge. Give me the item. No. Damn it. Oh, you know what? I've actually got fire bombs. I could use those. The black fire bombs. That's not a. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's quickly pop a heal though. I'd rather be on full HP just for safety reasons. So already you know we've died like uh, twice on these rafters. So it just goes to show you know you got to be even if you're good at the game, this, these rafters are still are still tough and still very scary. So gotta be very careful about these rafters. Okay, now we should be able to kill this guy no problem. Except we missed. Kill him no problem. Here we go. I'm gonna pop a little bit of a heal. Yeah, I wanna be just on full HP. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna go like this. Gotta be very careful about this part. And then. Black fireball. Black fireball. There we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna go like this. Now you can do a skip here if you want. I'm not gonna be doing it, but if you want to, you can. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
There you go, guys. Not, not too difficult. Now, the skip you can do is you can jump from that corner over there. I'll actually show you. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you how to do it, but I'm not going to actually do it. So you can jump from here to there, right there, and you can skip this in this fight. So there's a chest over there too. If you want to get, you can go get. But I'm not, uh, I'll, I could go do it, I guess. I just can't exactly 100% remember how. <laughs> the uh, big thing about this game is memory. If your memory is bad, like mine is, it does make it a lot harder. Dude, what is your problem? Why are you doing me like this? What have I ever done to you? Nothing. Is it like this? I'm not entirely sure why you come down here again. Can't remember. Look, it's been quite a few years, okay? It's been quite a few years for me. Okay, so what I should do is just go through here and be safe and go into the area. Because that's the right thing to do. What I'm going to do is be an idiot and go down here, even though I know I shouldn't. Now, I think this Gwen... Is killable. I was wrong. It's okay, guys. You know, it happens to the base. Let's just say it happens to the base of us, okay? Do, 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 do. Hello. <gasps> I literally did not know you were there. Drop Adam for me? No? Well, fuck you too, dude. This is a mimic. This is not a mimic. Divine Blessing. I can just wait for Divine Blessing, apparently. Okay, so now I remember what that is for. It's to get back. So you gotta go like this. And you can use this to get back. If you don't make that jump, you will die. It sucks, trust me. I've been there, done that. More painted people just sticking to my body. That's okay. They want my body. I get it. I get it. So over here... We have, uh, we can actually pull this lever. I just can't remember what it does. I think you pull it to bring this back up. I'm pretty sure. I can't actually remember. What did you go down here first? I can't remember this either. <laughs> Look, my memory is fading as I get older, guys. It's just one of those things. You, you age. And then you forget things. Hello. Are you having a good time, Mr. Gargo Boy? He's very determined. He's very determined. He wants to fight, basically. What it comes down to. I feel you, I feel you Mr. Gargo Boy. You want to fight me. It's good. It's good, you dude. We'll, I'll fight you. Don't worry about it. Just give me some time. Then push this together, please. Cut in. Gargo boy is gonna make it to us pretty quick, guys. Dude, don't underestimate how quickly Gargo boy gets you. He gets you kind of fast. What you want is for him to fall down there, so you can do this. I fucked it up immediately, but it's okay. I got staggered there a little bit. I missed my attack there a little bit. He jumps, as you can see, we do get in a little bit of trouble. But in general, it shouldn't be too difficult. Got some goggle stuff. It's nice. Now, if you go down here. Which takes quite a while. This is how you get to the other area with the painters. Now, the only problem is there is supposed to be a way. Down there. I just can't remember how. This is the problem. Do I have to pull this level over here? I mean, what happens if I pull this level? Be very careful about this area. There's a lot of these dudes. 
And if you cannot squish them, they can actually be kind of a problem. So you just want to kind of aggro one at a time. Aggro one at a time. Pull them to a safe distance. Like this. And then smoosh. Beautiful. Go pull another. So this is, I found this area for quite a while. I go one at a time, not two at a time, like I did now. It's really bad. Make sure you aggro one at a time, guys. It's a very important little uh, thing you gotta do. It's very risky if you aggro two at a time. Because they can do a lot of damage. But as long as you can smoosh them, you should be fine. You should be fine. Now, there's quite a lot of them here. A lot more than you would think. They're very sneaky sneaky, as you can see, hiding around the place. Like little sneaky ninja types. They'll throw some knives at you. And they'll get angry because they can't throw straight. And they'll run at you. Eventually. And you just... Smush. Very simple, guys. It's a very simple strategy, you know. Some people might even think it's a little bit uh, cheesy. A little bit uh, easy. But you know what I always say, this is Dark Souls. You gotta do what you can do to give yourself advantage, man. If you can smoosh people in one shot, why not? Why wouldn't you smoosh? You know what I'm saying? I know you guys know what I'm saying. I know you have all played a hundred games of Dark Souls and you've died a thousand times and you're like, I'm so tired of dying, Dark Souls. I wish there was the easy way to do this. Well, let me educate you. It's called smoosh strat. Smoosh strat. Works every time, just gotta smoosh strat And you'll be fine if you smoosh strat Smoosh strat You guys can't throw for shit by the way I don't know if anyone ever taught you this You're supposed to be painter gods What are you guarding? You're not guarding shit dude Oh by the way they're called painter guardians or painter gods Because they are literally guarding a painting It's a very important painting It's uh, Priscilla basically I don't want you all to know, in case you didn't know, that that area is effing difficult. Don't go there. Unless you're a 10k gamer like me. So that's actually a really good uh, magic to pick up the great magic weapon. It's super good and it does a lot of damage. I would definitely advise getting it. Toot toot, last painter boy was up. You were supposed to be guarding the painting, but you got in that item instead. I just like smooshing things guys, what can I say? I'm a simple man, and I like simple pleasures, aka smooshing people. Now, if you have the doll, which I do not have, you can go through this painting to the other world, where Priscilla is waiting, and you can get the moan percent speed run. Um, of course, we're not going to be doing that, because we're just having fun. We're not trying too hard today. Just having a good time, smooshing some people, doing some exploration of Anna Londo. Feels good. Not too difficult. Died a couple of times in the rafters though, not gonna lie. You, I mean, I don't. I'm, I physically can't lie because everyone saw it happen. I wonder, I can't remember how do I unlock uh, the fight to Gwendolyn. Do I have to move this a second time? Can I move this a second time? I can't actually remember how exactly. Do I push this again? Can I, can I push this again? <laughs> it's like loading in, so it's an invisible wall. <laughs> That's funny as shit, dude. So this is the Gwyndolin fight. I don't think I can unlock it right now. I'm pretty sure if I go there, it would, nothing will happen. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you have to actually make pro uh, story progress. But I could be wrong. So we can try, I guess. Let's quickly just rest up here. Level up. Let's put um, some vitality. Oh, we don't have enough for level up. Never mind. I love it. Okay, cool. So you actually can't. Like, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. You need to first make Anolondo dark as if. That's okay. I just wanted to test it. The staircase looks really cool, by the way. I don't know why, but I really like the stickers. I don't know. 
And on Londo. So we're almost done with this episode. We're just going to make our way to the next bonfire. Now, luckily, the next bonfire is in and Londo. Um, which is good. Which means the next episode we'll be fighting uh, Orsin and Smo. Which is always intimidating. It's actually not this one. It is that one. It's this one. There we go. There's some fucking um, lightning spear motherfuckers, and we're gonna get we're gonna get freaking uh, alpine sniped by the freaking Anolondo archers. But first, we do have to take out two sentinel boys, one at a time, please. One, I said one at a time, please. Hmm, he beat me to it. A little bit unfortunate. I missed my attack and I'm in actual danger of dying. Yep. I actually died because I missed the single attack. Oh, it hurts, dude. It actually hurts. It actually hurts. I missed one fucking attack and then I die for it. Ah, Dark Souls, guys. Oh my word, this is a bad place to start, actually. <laughs> Oopsie, probably shouldn't have rested here. Whatever. Okay, so I die. It's unfortunate. It's my own fault. I missed a single attack. That's all it takes, in Dark Souls. One mistake. One attack. And you will die. I guess it's not a horrible bonfire spot. Anolondo is pretty big. Maybe I want to end it here, actually, and then do the rest of Anolondo in the next episode. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I guess it doesn't matter. So you guys think you could get a little bit disoriented here, no doubt. But, uh, luckily, I know exactly where to go. I th could you go down there? I kind of get the feeling you could, but... So as you probably noticed already, I kill everything, even though I don't have to. <laughs> it's just my own personal preference. I like uh, making, I like killing off all the enemies in the game. Oh, I missed my roll. Are you serious? Okay. I'm gonna run through here because of safety reasons. I just really want to be a little bit safer here. You actually jumped that. Are you serious? He's just slightly faster than me in his attack every time. And then I take the hit and he doesn't take the hit. It's a little bit unfortunate. It's okay. There's lots of little nooks and crannies in uh, Dark Souls. Where you can go even though you might think you couldn't or would be a dead end. It's not action. It's actually like a legitimate like area. Dude, you, you guys jump so fast, I don't understand. That hit? I actually cannot believe that hit. I'm actually so impressed that, that hit you had to die for. It. It's mainly because I didn't think that hit. Oh, dude, this is locked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. I remember it now. It's slowly, steadily coming back to me, boys and girls. Slowly and steadily. All the information. See what's happening here also is I'm kind of remembering like certain things about Dark Souls 3's Anolondo instead of Dark Souls Anolondo so I get a little bit confused. There's three of you guys here that's unfair. Can you aggro me please? Get up. Okay the wrong one aggro me at least. How about a little bit of a little bit of fire. Okay. I use fire, you use lightning, it's okay. Have you ever been smooshed before, dude? No. You have not. You have today, though. Because there's speculations. Let me know in the comments below how it feels to be smooshed. 
Oh, it's your, who's better? Lol. And then this guy's the same situation. Smoosh. And then smoosh. Easy. Easy, easy guys. Now you can actually go down here. One somewhere, I think. Maybe it's not this side. It might be the other side. It is the other side. Okay, I'm not in the mood for this area. I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to straight up tell you guys right now. I'm really not in the mood for this area. Because this area kind of sucks. It's just a dead end. Uh, because of these freaking Alpine Sniper Boys. Now the Alpine Sniper Boys are annoying as hell. But they also are the situation of be confident in yourself and you'll be fine. So I can choose to be confident. Oh, these two of them. I'm dead. I thought, I thought there was one. I thought there was one. I didn't know there were two. I'm dead. Oh, I didn't know there were two. I thought there was only one. I forgot. Okay, and just to save some time. I'm just gonna choose to not be fighting these enemies. Because we fought them already, so you guys have seen the fight and you've seen them die. That's all you really care about, so. I don't need to fight them again, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I gotta fight these ones though. Gotta be very careful though. Did I just get hit by one behind me? I feel like I just got hit by one behind me. Which I, which I did not expect, so it caught me a little bit of God. Okay, the one fell to its death, luckily, so it was nice for us. Okay, so the Alpine Sniper section is about to start, guys. I hope you all are very excited for it. I know everyone watching is like, oh, I can't wait for this guy to get killed by Alpine Snipers. But it's not gonna happen. Unfortunately for you guys, I'm the world's greatest Alpine Sniper Dodger ever. Years and years of practice against Alpine Snipers has made me unable to get killed by Alpine Snipers. It's just not possible. Mainly I just know exactly what it is, which is good. Now, if you the best way to handle this is to just have uh, the option of uh, smooshing. Which, as you can see, is the way I do it. But if you do not have the smoosh option, you will be in trouble. Like I just was. I got stun locked there and died. So a little bit unlucky. Didn't get killed by an Alpine sniper though. Although technically I did. I'm going to take it as I didn't. I got killed by stun lock. I thought my posture would last. Apparently I was wrong. <laughs> I actually can't believe for a second that I actually landed. You will never get this guys, just face it. They got this! I take it back. I take it freaking back dude. Now you just have to be really manly here. And just go for it. You need to understand your position. And be manly and be like, I'm going for it. Fuck it. I'm manly. It's fine. Don't worry about it guys. This is manly stream. Except it's not a stream, it's just a recorded video. This is manual recorded video. Wow. Okay, so I died to an Alpine Sniper. Nothing we can do about it. I mean, excuse me, dude, like none of these attacks are actually landing and you do realize that game, All right? You know that none of these attacks are really landing. Anyway. Please not use a lightning and hit me again. That would be great. Go to the other side in case lightning bolts coming. Go to the other side in case another lightning bolts coming. Like, what's that dude? How's life shooting him? Great. Good. Manly run. It's the only way. It is the only way. If you do not manly run here, you are might as well just give up at this point. You will not be Dark Souls if you do not manly run. Pick up our souls again. So I'm sure zero. 500. Yeah, that's 500 souls. That's all we have to do. And then smoosh. Get back step a little bit. And smoosh. That's it. 
That is all we had to do. Was that so difficult, game? No, it wasn't. Why did it not work? Because I suck at this game. Actually, because he blocked us once much. <laughs> and then he uh, stun locked me, but... You can't, I can't blame the game for that. I can't blame the game for that. Okay, so there's a bonfire right here in this room. Right over here. Hallelujah. It's a bonfire. And so there. But anyway, we're gonna go in here quickly. Hello. Mr. Silver Knight. Smoosh. He did not take any smoosh damage. He did not take any smoosh damage. He got fully smooshed and he did not take any damage. Why are you not why is smooshing not working against you? I'm very confused. You got smooshed like three times, you, just, you literally didn't give a fuck. You were like, fuck the smooshing. Do you know how smooshing works? Why is he taking no damage from getting smooshed, dude? I'm so fucking confused when they don't take damage from getting smooshed. How about you get fucking chaos fucking fireballed to death? Gotta pop a heal. I'm dead. Fuck me, dude! Are you serious? I smooshed him three times and he took zero damage. I don't understand what the fuck is with that timing all of a sudden being so off. Like that timing is really off. Like I rolled exactly the right time and the attack lands every time. Which doesn't make sense. The timing is super off there. Oh my god, that landed? How the fuck did that attack land? There's no way in hell that attack lands. You know it. Anyway. I'm just annoyed that I died to an enemy I 100% should not have died to, slash never have died to, until this this day. Stupid alpine snipers. There's only like two of them. It's not even that dangerous. I don't know why this place brought so much dread to people's hearts. It's really not that bad. This is the only hard part, this upcoming part, because you gotta just roll at the right time. And then, smoosh it. Nope. And then, smoosh it. Don't fall off the ledge though! Like, I used to speed on this game, okay? I know where, what angles to be, and I know what freaking jumps to make, and I know what fucking attacks I'm gonna take damage from, I know what attacks I'm not gonna take damage from. There's zero doubt in my mind about where to go and how to do things. I'm just getting like... I don't, I'm probably just rusty is what it is, and I'm blaming the game for it, but... It's so frustrating, man. It's like when you know exactly how to do something, or you know exactly where to be, or what to click, or what to do, and it doesn't work the way it's supposed to, you get annoyed. It's just... It's just the thing. Okay, like this attack. He's not supposed to land this attack on me, dude. He's not supposed to land that attack on me. Get... Fudge, dude. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get, dude. Get wrecked. Landing attacks. I'm maybe this weapon is a bit slower than what I usually have at this point. Though it could be. So I'm gonna rest at the freaking bonfire this time. So I'm not a complete retard. After I speak to Soleil, of course. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Where were you when I fought Quelag? Where? Where? You know where? Nowhere. I fought Quelag with freaking Mordred. Mordred wrecked Quelag though, so I guess it's fine. Okay. Now, this dude must die. You will fucking die now. Okay? Face it. Your life is fucking over, dude. Get fucked. Are you still alive? Get it's what you get, dude. I knew I could kill him, guys. I knew I could kill him. I was 1000% sure I could kill him. And then he kills me. You know why? Because I didn't wrestle the ball. Bonfire. That is the only reason. <sighs> Without further ado, that's going to be the end of this episode of Sack Boys Adventures and Orlando. Uh, you know, got to make your way past those arches, get shot down a couple of times. It's just. Dark Souls tradition to get shot down once or twice by the Bow Boys. If you don't get shot down once or twice by the Bow Boys, are you even playing Dark Souls? That's the question. For now, for now though, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dark Souls Remastered. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps me a lot. I really appreciate it. Subscribe and all the rest at the bottom. I'll see you on the next episode where we take on Ornstein and Samo. 
the best boss fight in Dark Souls 1, but also one I will die multiple times to. For now though, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.